This is Module 2 of Nutrition and Fitness Made Easy. In this section, we will look at calculating the best macronutrient ratios for your specific goals. Understanding the proper carbohydrate, protein, and fat balance is critical for improving your nutrition plan and attaining your unique health and fitness goals. 1. Macronutrient Ratios and Goals the appropriate macronutrient ratios are determined by your personal goals, which may include weight loss, muscle gain, or overall health maintenance. Here are some general recommendations for achieving mutual objectives. 1.1 Weight Loss A balanced macronutrient ratio for weight loss typically consists of a modest carbohydrate intake, enough protein to sustain muscle maintenance, and a controlled fat intake. This may vary, but a good starting point could be about 40% carbohydrates, 30% protein, and 30% fat. 1.2 Muscle Gain A higher protein consumption is generally recommended to stimulate muscle growth, combined with a sufficient carbohydrate intake for energy and fat for overall health. A good starting point could be about 40% carbohydrates, 30% protein, and 30% fat with changes based on individual needs. 1.3 Overall Health and Maintenance A balanced macronutrient ratio is advised for overall health. This typically consists of a modest carbohydrate intake, adequate protein intake, and a concentration on healthy fats. Aim for 45-55% to 55 of calories from carbohydrates, 20-30% to 30 from protein, and 25-35% to 35 from fats as a starting point. 2. Macronutrient Ratio Individualization It's vital to keep in mind that appropriate macronutrient ratios might vary depending on factors including individual metabolism, exercise level, body composition, and personal tastes. Experimentation and tracking your progress are essential for determining the ratios that work best for you. When customizing your macronutrient ratios, keep the following in mind. High-intensity physical activity or endurance training may necessitate a larger carbohydrate intake for fuel. Individuals with sedentary lives, on the other hand, may benefit from a somewhat decreased carbohydrate diet. 3. Body Composition Objectives if losing body fat is your primary aim, moderate carbohydrate and greater protein consumption may be advantageous. If muscle gain is your primary goal, a somewhat higher carbohydrate consumption and a sufficient protein intake are critical for energy and muscle recovery. 4. Particular Tastes It is critical to develop a long-term dietary strategy that matches your particular tastes. If you find it difficult to stick to a precise macronutrient ratio, make changes that will make the diet more fun and feasible for you. In the following module, we'll look at micronutrients and how they can help with general health and wellness. Continue to excel in your diet and fitness journey.